Well, let's move on. Australians will soon be able to enjoy a quarantine-free holiday in New Zealand. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announced she's bringing forward the date for the reopening of the border to tourists. Joining us live now is New Zealand's Tourism Minister, Stuart Nash. Stuart, appreciate your time. Have you missed us? My pleasure. Good afternoon. We've absolutely missed you. And apart from uh, our clashes on the sporting fields, we absolutely love our Aussie brothers and sisters and would welcome you back with open arms, believe me. So why have you been able to bring forward that opening date? What's changed? Well, it was always a holding day because we needed to understand what was happening with our own health system with Omicron. Now we have a much better handle on what is happening right across our communities. We think it's time that we open the borders and our Australian brothers and sisters will be first. So welcome. OK, so for Australians watching this and wanting to know when they can get back to New Zealand, um, when is that and what sort of hoops will they need to jump through to actually get there in terms of needing to be vaccinated, having to test beforehand? What do they have to do? Yeah, sure. So the border opens to Australians at 11.59pm on the 12th of April. You will need to be vaccinated to come across and you will need to have had um, uh, a, a test a negative test before you come across, and that could be in the form of a, a, a PCR or a supervised rat. And then you will have to do a rat once you're here, but there's no self-isolation in New Zealand at all. In fact, we, we find at this point in time, most of the airlines require a negative test before they're going to let you on the planes anyway. But you've, you've got to have a negative test before you get here. But, you know, it's some time for your school holidays. It's time for the Anzac weekend break. And uh, we'd love to see you on the ski fields of, of Queenstown and the wineries of Hawke's Bay and all around the country. Minister, it has been a long two years. Do you expect it will take some time for the sector to rebound? Surely a number of Kiwi tourism operators would have gone to the wall over that time. Yeah, there are a lot of tourism operators who have done it very hard. Of that, there is no doubt. And, uh, it will take a little, a little bit of a time to, to rebound. We're seeing that globally, uh, even into Australia. I think the numbers of tourists that you expect that has, hasn't quite reached uh, expectation. But as, as mentioned, uh, we're opening the borders in time for your school holidays. Uh, that we're well and truly open in time for the ski season for Australians. Australians pre-COVID made up about 40% of our tourists, which was by far the largest chunk of, of tourists into this country. So, um, yeah, we just can't wait to see our Aussie brothers and sisters on the ski fields and, as mentioned, in the, in the wineries of Hawke's Bay or in the bars of Auckland. Minister, more broadly, are you worried that brand New Zealand may have taken a hit because of your overarching pandemic strategy. I know that in Australia, Western Australia is facing a, a similar sort of fear, but in your situation, we did see thousands of Kiwis trapped overseas, locked out of their own country by those strict border rules and, and also the limited quarantine space. Are you worried that that damaged the country's reputation? No, look, all the research that Tourism New Zealand has done overseas shows that the, the stance that we have taken has actually played into our global reputation. We're seen as a very safe place to come. Last year, we were ranked number one in the world in terms of our COVID response. People know that, that the chances of coming here and catching Delta are, are highly, highly unlikely. And we, you know, we, we've got a great brand for these sorts of uh, attributes anyway, be, being a safe and, and wonderful place to come and visit. As mentioned, all our marketing and all our market research shows it's only enhanced our brand. OK, and so, as you're saying, it's a safe place to visit. What is the current situation in terms of the Omicron outbreak there and, and vaccination levels at the moment? Vaccination levels very high, double jabbed over 95%. Uh, Omicron outbreak, we, it's... Uh, it, the numbers in Auckland are dropping. Um, we have what's called a, a COVID protection framework in place at the moment. It's at least it's a traffic light system. It's at red at the moment, but the traffic light system was put in place to allow us to better understand what was happening with our health system, but to allow Kiwis to uh, to go about their daily business with Omicron in our community. So there's no lockdowns or anything like this. It's more of a, a check on our health system, and our health system seems to be coming through the Omicron outbreak in a way that, uh, that that we're very happy. I, it's not crashing; it's coping very well, which is which is heartening to see. New Zealand Tourism Minister Stuart Nash, appreciate you joining us. Good news coming out of uh, New Zealand today. We all look forward to getting back there. Thank you very much. We'll do so with this after the break. The US